In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get a gap pressure in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel focuses on helping you improve in Madden NFL 21 through tips, through strategies, through play breakdowns, through film studies, and all of that fun stuff. And so in today's video, we're going to be talking about some a gap pressure. So if that's something that interests you, my channel posts uh, four times a day on YouTube. We are on an upload schedule. You can see the schedule in the description. Also, we stream every single night at 10 o'clock Eastern time where we can break down kind of some gameplay for you and show you how things work in there. So if that's something that interests you, consider subscribing to the channel and also make sure to join the Discord. The Discord is the best place to talk Madden in a community style. And there's a saying that goes, you're the average of the five people you associate with most. And that Discord really has helped me get better. And I think it's helped a lot of people get better. All right, we're in the 4-6 playbook, 3-4 bear, and what you're going to do is you're going to place your best pass rushers uh, right in here. You want your fastest guy that you can possibly get right here. Dean Lowry is who I go with. Um, but you see here I got Preston Smith, so I'm going to put Preston Smith right here. Um, and actually, Zadarius Smith can go over here. This is just fine. It, it doesn't really matter. The big thing is that these two guys are really, really good pass rushers. Um, and then out here, just somebody fast is just fine. Uh, Dean Lowry on the on the Packers is the guy that I would pick for that position. But the play we're going to come out in is pinch buck O. Now, we're not going to send six. We're going to send five. Um, but it's a very simple setup, very simple pressure. So you're going to notice that the linebacker blocks or comes right down here in the gap. All you're going to do is you're going to crash your line to the left. You see it's going to stunt the lineman this way. We're then going to take Gary here, and we are going to man him up on the running back. We're going to use our Burks, and we're just going to quarterback contain rush. That's all we're going to do. And you'll see here at the snap of the ball, you're going to get screaming uh, either edge or gap pressure of some type. Typically, it comes from the A-gap. Sometimes it comes from the edge. It just kind of depends on how the offensive linemen um, pick it up. That's why if you base align it, you'll get a little bit more uh, consistency from this. You'll see right here again, and there's the setup. And you're going to see it comes, uh, we get two guys off the edge that time. Sometimes again that happens. It just depends on how many times you've ran the splits. The more times you run the splits in practice mode, um, they'll pick it up a little bit better depending on the more times you run it. But you'll see here, if I change my user, maybe I jump over here and user um, Amos and put him right over here in the center. You'll see here, there it comes there. There's the A gap coming right through, uh, big Kenny Clark coming through. So. You know, it does kind of depend on how the offensive line picks it up. I do want to talk about um, a couple of things they're going to do to try to stop this blitz. But before we do that, if you guys really want to take your defense to the next level, I want to encourage you to pick up my Madden 21 competitive bundle guide. We are updating that for you this weekend. And we're going to have all new tips and strategies for you. Um, a whole new scheme out of this 4-6 playbook that we're going to be breaking down. Actually, how to use these plays in a game. And so... If that's something that interests you, you can pick up my um, offense and defense in the description of this video. Anyway, so one of the things that they're going to do to try to pick this up is they're going to basically double team the interior nose tackle because he's the problem. He's quote unquote the problem of the splits. So you'll see here, if they double team the nose guard, what's going to happen is you're going to get edge pressure. You see how it's going to scream right off the edge. That's why I like to put Zedarius Smith over there because if you have a really good pass rusher right there, he's going to come completely free if they decide to double team. Literally, that's all they can do, right? If they if, and let me just show you, if they slide, um, you see how if they slide, it makes it worse. You see that the pressure is coming through regardless. Part of the key to this is the blitz angles and the contains and just the formation in general um, help make this blitz what it really is. Now, again, I do not recommend, do not recommend, okay? Do not go on to your channel and say, you know, Cody recommended I run this every play. I recommend mixing this in, right? I don't blitz every play. But you see, the pressure is really good. It's either going to come from the edge or it's going to come from the A-gap. You know, pretty much consistently. You can mess around with the crushes uh, or the crashes and different things like that. You can crash right. Um, you can mix the crashes in. As you see here, sometimes when you crash right, it'll come in. Um, you can crash down if you want. There's all sorts of different things you can do with this. But the gist of it is this 5 in pressure is going to really be really, really effective for you. So... Um, anyways, guys, 3-4 bear. That's a quick blitz for today. Just wanted to get this out to you, show you some more A-gap pressure in Madden 21. Pressure does exist in Madden 21. It's just, my opinion, you have to work a little bit harder this year. And you also have to mix it in because the blitzes don't get home as fast, even when they're free runners. So, anyways, guys, I hope this video uh, helps you. Again, we're going to be going live here in about a couple hours here at 10 o'clock Eastern time uh, on PS4. So, if you want to come by the channel, I would love to have you do that. And, again... If you're just started getting started, you're wanting to really take your Madden game to the next level and you're just seeing this video, I want to encourage you to jump in the Discord. Pick up the competitive bundle guide. Again, it's in the description. 
25 bucks that gets you my full offense, full defense, and it updates all the way through the first month of Madden 21. So really phenomenal content uh, coming to you guys. Again, I post four times a day, so no reason for you not to subscribe. I really believe you're going to get better from watching my channel. I try to put out some really good quality content. Um, and again, guys, if you ever have any Madden questions, you can always text me. My number is 812. 216-3644. There's going to be some videos that are going to pop up here. One of them is how to be uh, elite on offense in Madden 21. So I want, to, I want you to check that one out. Um, some really good tips in there for beating man-to-man -man defense. Thank you guys so much for your support. It means the world to me. And we will see you guys at 10 o'clock this evening.